Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Annette Sunbeam Fabric Art. I just finished up a fun project that turned out beautifully, and that was a strip tube quilt. What you see here are the leftovers from that strip tube quilt. I didn't throw anything away. I have the triangle ends that I cut off the tubes and some squared off ends that I cut off the triangles to make them squared up. I also have a single block um, that was the original idea for using up those scraps. And then I have some strips that are just uh, straight line fabric, almost like a piano keyboard or would be. I really wanted to see if I could make one more quilt out of these scraps and leftovers from the tube quilt. I tried to think about the easiest and fastest way to make a quilt. And what I'm going to do first is sew these triangles together, just mix and match. And then we'll just have to see what happens with the rest of the scraps. I started by taking two triangles. I simply put them right sides together. I really was not paying attention to which colors or which seams. I wasn't lining anything up. I'm just putting these triangles together and I am going to stitch them together. Most of these triangles had a relatively straight edge because that was the way I trimmed them off of the tube strips. Uh, some of them were uneven, so once I stitched my seam, I did trim that edge to remove any excess bulk. After I stitched the first few triangles together, I noticed that um, I was trying to find the right size to go with the right triangle, so I went ahead and sorted those out in pairs by the triangle size. And at times the edge of the triangle that I wanted to stitch was a little bit too off for me, so I would pull out a little cutting mat and go ahead and make that edge straight. Once I had all those triangles stitched together, I pressed that seam open on all the squares. My next step was to figure out what size to trim these squares to. Since most of these triangles came from similar sized tubes, they made similar sized triangles. So what I ended up with was a lot of 11 inch squares. I also ended up with a few 10 inch squares and I think I'm going to make a zip bag out of those and I ended up with two very small 8 inch squares. Now it was time to move on to these other scraps and make them into something. Um, since I had mostly 11 inch blocks from the triangles, I decided to stitch these scraps together until I got enough to cut an 11 inch block. I decided to follow the same idea I had on the quilt that these scraps came from and use two and a half inch strips for sashing the whole quilt. 
my quilt is going to be four blocks by five blocks I ended up with 20 blocks that were 11 inches so I'm going to sew a white strip to one side of each of the 20 blocks Once I got all that sashing sewn on one side, I kind of sorted these out into four piles and then I mixed them up so that no two similar squares would be next to each other. My next step was to start putting two blocks together to make a pair. Then I will stitch two pairs together to make a row of four. Now my rows turned out longer than with the fabric, so I'm going to have to put two pieces of fabric together to make a sashing strip long enough. The way I do that, I place two pieces of fabric right sides together at right angles, and then I stitch a diagonal line so that I will be able to fold this back on that diagonal line. I'm gonna trim off that excess and then press that seam open. Next, I stitched the sashing to each row on one side and on one row, which would be the top or the bottom, I stitched sashing to both sides. Let's talk about putting rows together. In this case, I don't need it to be too precise because of that middle sashing between the rows, but I do want these sashing strips going up and down to line up for the most part. So I'm lining up two rows, one with a white sashing strip and one side of a different row without the sashing strip. These are put together right sides together, and then I can fold back where that vertical sashing strip is and make sure that my two sashing strips on these two rows are lining up. Once that's all lined up, I put a clips on the seams and then I clip additionally on the block next to that sashing strip.
And here is one more look at lining these up. I'm lining up that right edge. The next thing I'm doing is pulling back on that sashing area, the vertical sashing, and making sure that the two rows sashing is lining up. And I'm fiddling with it until I get it just like I want it. Next, we stitch the two rows together, then I stitch two more rows together, and then I keep putting rows together until all five rows are together and I have a finished quilt top. I'm really pleased with the way this quilt top turned out. It's very bright and sunshiny, and although it's kind of a mishmash of quilt blocks, I think that some youngster will enjoy this quilt as a homemade gift made with love. Thanks for coming with me today for this quilt top, and I hope to see you back real soon.